what's going on guys i'm back with another video today i'm going to be showing you guys something that i kind of came up with someone might have came up with this before me but yeah i was just sitting down looking through ebay thinking of cards or thinking of some of my favorite tv shows and which ones have cards and which ones don't and outer banks one of my favorite tv shows of all time does not have a card set so i decided to kind of make my own set on what i think it would look like some inserts what the autographs would be stuff like that so yeah let me show you guys what i created all right so before i get into describing what i came up with i just want to preface this that i pretty much base the autographs off of written house card autographs if you open up those cards you'll 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 clearly see the resemblance to what i made to them and for me personally i think that's the autographs that they come out with are the cleanest out there i think they are the best looking autographs they're simple on card you know it just i just i love the look of them so i kind of based that off of what i came up with here today just to let you guys know now to get into it we'll start with the base cards I'm not gonna go crazy with these here you can just see have outer banks in the right hand corner a picture from the show and a bar on the bottom that separates itself from the from the actual from the the photo stating what season is from the episode and a name for the specific card like you see here have season one episode two i don't think this is from season one episode two but you get my point and then a name for the card they're finding treasure in this specific scene so yeah and what i what i my thought process was maybe do an 80 to 100 card base set with 20 to 30 of those cards being character cards like you see here again very simple nothing too crazy just outer banks in the right hand corner a picture from the show this one being sarah cameron and then her name simple very simple simples right easy nothing too crazy and if you wanted to do a parallel to this maybe do a chromed out card maybe get one or two per box nothing crazy you don't need numbers numbered out of 199 out of 50 out of 99 out of five get out of here it's just a base card simple right now to get into the inserts i only have four mini insert sets outside of the sketches and autographs so for the first one i came up with i think this would be cool it kind of relates to the show got a wanted poster of the example i made was john b rutledge reward a hundred thousand if you've watched the show you know that there's a lot of crime that takes place between different characters you know people are killing each other <laughs> they're stealing stuff he's running from child protective services <laughs> you know what i mean it's crazy so another example got rafe here for a dollar and if you wanted to do a kind of a parallel to this i think if you opened up if you opened up hockey upper deck series one and two there's a, call, a card called population count and it's technically not numbered but there's different tiers you have one to a thousand one that has 500 on it one that's 250 so if you wanted to do tiers for this maybe you can have different dollar amounts for tiers so maybe one dollar is tier one and then a hundred thousand is tier five just a, just an idea but yeah again you don't need to go crazy with parallels just a basic insert set cool next insert set we got i kind of kind of call this a couples card a relationship card whatever it may be but again if you watch the show you know that there's a lot of relationships that take place you know sarah cameron with john b like the example i have here but she was also with topper in an episode and then goes back to it's crazy jj was with kiara pope was with kiara you know what i mean you could easily find enough relationships from the show to have a subset in this set so yeah here just got some carts on the screen outer banks the right hand corner and then if you i i'm not an artist but this is just a rough copy but i have a heart at the bottom middle of the card with lines going to the names and then you can kind of if someone were to design this you kind of have the the lines connected to the names with the same font so it kind of looks like they're connected on each side i think that would look cool and then if you want to do a parallel you could do a gold gold insert set maybe number to 100 or 150 and yeah just pretty everything's just gold the name's gold the heart's gold the outer banks logo's gold simple you don't need to go crazy with the parallels i think a simple number to 100 or 150 would work fine so that's it for that subset and then probably my favorite looking one that is that i came up with you have the pogolandia insert now this would be a die cut card just imagine the white not there essentially looks like a fl an actual flag and half of it would be the pogolandia flag and the other half would be a scene from when they were on Pog on the island right so say for instance you do a, a set 
10 cards in the set, right? Card one being when they arrived, you know what I mean? They The boat showed up, they woke up, they're like, where the hell are we? And then card 10 would be them leaving. So it kind of goes in order from, in sequence of their journey on Poglandia, on the island. I think that would look cool. And then maybe have a little, little couple words describing what's going on, as you can see on the screen. I think this would look sick. I wouldn't do any numbered parallels to this. I think it would look fine just, just the way it is. So that's it for that. And then this next one, I kind of didn't come up with this. I saw a picture on Google and I think it would make for a perfect card set. And it's, I pulled it from Walmart's website. You can buy this poster if you wanted to, but you know, you could see different characters have different color schemes and then each one has their own image above them, right? So John B's on a boat. Pope's on a Twinkie, JJ's on a dock, Kiara's on the, on the, she's at the lighthouse, so you could easily find other characters for this, Sarah Cameron, you could do her at her, her, her shore home, you could do Ward at his fishing dock, you can do Rafe, I don't even know where Rafe at the golf course, I have no, I have no clue, but yeah, you could easily come up with enough characters for this, and they would make for, make for a good subset, I think they look nice, it would be a sick, sick subset to complete, and then if you wanted to do parallels, again, just do a gold parallel. I don't think you need to go crazy. Number to 100 or 150 with some gold line. Put some gold lines on there. Label the, the Outer Banks gold. I think it would look cool. Again, don't go. I wouldn't go crazy with numbering all. Have five different parallels for that subset. It's just, just, just too much. Just keep it simple. Have one parallel set and that's it. So that's it for the, for the insert sets. Not including the sketches and the autographs. But... I'm going to get into the sketches now. I didn't really sketch anything out. I just pulled pictures from the show that I think would make for good sketch cards. As you can see here, you have Kiara, JJ, and I think that's Cleo. They're raising the massive gold cross. That would look sick. The massive gold cross right in the middle of the card. Shiny, beautiful, would look sick. John B. holding the, the watch that his dad left him, you know, with Redfield on it. That would look sick. Again, another one, them on Poke Landy with the sunset in the background. I mean, <laughs> imagine packing that sketch card, the 101 sketch card of this, tits, right? Or you could do JJ raising the flag. You could do the Poke Landia flag itself on a sketch card, right? That would look sick too. But that's it for the sketch cards. Now to get into the autographs. So like I said in the beginning, I kind of based this off of Rittenhouse cards. And if you know what they look like, this is essentially what it looks like in Game of Thrones for the full bleed autos. I think they look clean here have jj on the card that's his actual autograph that's what it would look like you have outer banks in the middle his name on the bottom absolutely beautiful simple on card the white on the bottom makes the autograph pop out so you can clearly see the autograph and yeah i also came up with a parallel to this maybe something if you didn't want to do the white maybe have sand on the bottom with some palm trees just because it is outer banks and most of the show takes place on a beach so you know, have some sand have the autograph in the sand uh, me personally i like the base one with the white on the bottom just looks super clean that's my favorite and then that's it for the base autographs dual autographs i just made one but if you're a fan of the show and you collect cards this would be a must-have for your collection jj and kiara dual autograph now i know they had some some difficulties in real life but take that out of the equation this would be a sick card this is probably one of the best relationships in the show i think towards season in the end of toward in the end of season three, I think towards the end, that's when they kind of started coming together. And it was just inevitable. You knew it was going to happen. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful what they were able to, you know, they were able to come together. And it was brought some tears to your eyes. So, yeah, this is just a sick dual autograph. Pretty much the same scheme as the basic autograph. White on the bottom. On card autographs. Beautiful. Now, for the best card that I came up with, this would be the chase card in the entire set. There would only be four of these. There, was only, there would only be four of them in existence. You have the quad booklet autograph of the original four Pogues called Pogues for Life. Four of them, number to four. Beautiful. It's a booklet. You open it up. It's them in season one on the boat. You have all four of their autographs. I mean, then the separation in the middle would be where the crease would be. But, I mean, imagine packing this. If you're a fan of Outer Banks, this is the chase card. This is the chase card that you'd want in your collection. Only four of them in existence. Four of them. Pokes for life. It just works beautifully. It works beautifully. Right? So, that's all that I came up with. 
I want you guys to let me know what you guys think, what you guys would remove from this, what you guys would add from this, what inserts you liked, what inserts you didn't like, if you liked the autographs, any feedback would be sick. I looked on Rittenhouse's website, and you could you could send in ideas, but I highly doubt this would even get taken into consideration because Netflix, I think I, the, the ownership rights would are weird. You know, they need to acquire the rights to this to be able to make the card. They need to get the sign. It, it's just crazy. But yeah, this is something that I would buy 100% if they came out with for sure. One of my favorite TV shows. Let me know down below if you also watch the show and it's your favorite TV show. Let me know what you guys think of the show as well. Just leave me some feedback. I want to let I want to know what you guys think of this. If you have any ideas, drop them down there too. I'm curious to see what you guys think. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Bye.